No by Megan Trainer. Under Buckley's list, this is the worst song of 2016. So, first there was All About That Bass, which spoke out against fat shaming. Dear Future Husband illustrated Megan's fantasy of domination in a relationship. And I hear that this song may as well be Super Saiyan 3. Four times as ridiculous as Dear Future Husband, which was two times as ridiculous as All About That Bass. And All About That Bass was pretty ridiculous, but the goddamn ridiculous noises have translated into message over the years. So, let's do this. I think it's so cute And I think it's so sweet How you let your friends encourage you To try and talk to me But let me stop you there Oh, before you speak If my friends were doing that, I'd be telling them they were full of shit. But even if I did want to talk to you, but couldn't work up the courage, I don't really understand the logic. Like you, like you even say it's cute. Right here, it kind of sounds like you're playing hard to get. My name is No. My sign is No. My number is No. Your name is Megan Trainer, is it not? So that's bullshit fact number one. So your sign is No. Okay, I never wanted to speak on people in the whole zodiac sign obsession. Because I don't think it's worth my time crying over spilled milk. But I'll tell you this much. I think it's stupid that people are putting themselves into herds and judging people merely by what? Their fucking birth year? Whatever that whole thing is. When Martin Luther King Jr. said he had a dream that people should be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin, I didn't think he was referring to the typical behaviors of whatever sign the other person has. And your fucking numbers, no. Take note that there's no area code that we know of. So, as far as we're concerned, that's either bullshit fact number three or making trainers an alien. First you gonna say, you ain't running game. They cannot believe in every word. Call me beautiful, so original. Telling me I'm not like the other girls. Well, maybe it's because he actually does think you're beautiful. You didn't think of that, didn't you? I don't understand why your type always think every man is a player. You're either looking in the wrong places or you're just assuming shit. I was in my zone before you came along. Now I'm thinking maybe you should go. Okay, now you're just being stuck up. Apparently this song takes place in some sort of a nightclub or a bar. Now we need protection from being randomly bitched at by a psycho woman such as Megan Trainer. So I'm thinking maybe the DSRA should segregate stuck up girls and SJWs together as a third party aside from bikers. If I want a man, then I'ma get a man, but it's never my priority. Then kindly tell him to move on, or that you're not into dating, because this is what this sounds like. Hey, how's it going? Oh my god, get away from me, man. You're so annoying. Get out of my personal space. You fucking male. You know what, I have to apologize because I never covered the possibility that the guy blatantly admits he just wants to see you naked. In which case, maybe he should fuck off. Otherwise, just tell him you're not interested. There is absolutely no reason to act like this, no pun intended. So that's pretty much all there is to it. She also mentioned feeling untouchable, but who the fuck would want to go near you when you emit that kind of attitude? If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, share this video, and please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with the next video.